Now, ladies and gentlemen, Counter-Strike Global Offensive's most recent update was two months too late to the game. Late last night on January 25th, Valve decided to update the game. This has been the longest stretch and longest waiting period for an update, and yet we almost got practically nothing. The blog post, I think, is one of the shortest of all time. If you don't play Anubis or Danger Zone, you're not going to notice anything different. They added some Christmas stuff, even though it's, well, a month or two too late now. And I gotta say, this is the most disappointed I've been with CS in a very long time. The one time they decided to do something it's pretty horrible in today's video we're going to take a look at this update specifically why people are so upset why rio is still on sale and that yeah that's right who and why is outraged in the community and with people hating this are things going to change and with it being such a bad update what can we expect next today's video sponsor is market.csgo market.csgo is a buying and selling marketplace for your skins but most importantly a peer-to-peer -peer site so the wait times in between trading buying or selling are as low as possible the marketplace is over 90,000 trades a day and even a built-in tab to find the best deals to make the most amount of profit possible. It also has a built-in client via download or Chrome to make trading very profitable, but most importantly, as safe as possible. Selling is as easy as the click of a button with extremely low fees, that of course being 5%. Definitely one of the best in its field and gives you an edge versus other competition. Once you sell an item, it goes directly to your balance. From there, you can choose to cash out with many different options, many more than other rival sites. Market.csgo is one of the best of its competition. They're currently working on a new UI to make things look more clean and easy to operate. With its low selling fees, scam proof client, and a large amount of cash out options, I can't recommend this site enough. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. So CSGO updated, right? It was awful, no content, and there was no new case, no news or addition of source two or three, and at this point we'll take really either. And I think the worst part about this entire thing is the Rio sale was not removed. And it seems to be that people in the community are now finally realizing that these things have been here for a little too long. I said this almost a month ago, that was a little too early, I will admit, but in about two and a half weeks, this is going to be CSGO's longest 75% off sale of all time, even more than RMR. Because RMR was full price for majority of the year, and then that last little stretch of two and a half months was the 75% off sale, and that's where the majority of people invested. So I guess we'll talk about the most obvious question about Rio. Why is it still here? Why haven't they removed it? I think it's here for one of two things, pretty much both. They don't know or haven't finished the new case or something they want to replace these items with. So what I mean by that is Valve wants some sort of item on the shop, that being some sort of music kit, probably a case or a new community capsule. So people going onto the game, like right now, are probably going to buy the Rio stickers or any other major when they're on sale. When that gets removed, usually we get some sort of update where we get some sort of monetary item. And since it's been a little over 200 days since the case, that's what I think they're waiting for. Maybe they're just getting everything together, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, this is probably what I think is majority of the reason, if all of it, they have really, really poor sales. Rio is one of the most hated on years for majors, which is pretty insane. Not a huge fan of them either. You can't go from Stockholm and Antwerp stickers to some of the worst we've seen of all time. Now, if this was flipped in direction where these stickers came out in 2021, I think people would like them a little more, have a little more sales, but that's besides the point. Let's hop into the update to see what's actually included in it. So here is the blog post, one of the shortest ones of all time. 125.23, this is real. And if you take a look at the past previous ones, this is the most recent one. This one obviously isn't too long. This one's obviously a little shorter, but there was a lot more in this update where of course they adjusted the op in M4. In this one, we weren't really expecting much, but for an update, we were expecting right? And this is all we get. They make it seem like there's more because there's so much wrong and needs to be done with Anubis. Minor optimizations. Okay. That's like the only one that most people are probably going to care about. They adjusted the shape of a boat in a canal. Okay. We didn't care. I think the biggest joke besides Rio not getting removed is this down here, Ember. A winter storm has hit Ember expect delays. And well, what they mean by that is they have finally added the Christmas update to the Battle Royale Ember map, DE underscore Ember for Danger Zone. I believe that's what it is. This is pretty horrendous. This was a post on Reddit. And as you can see, they've added Christmas trees to this. And it's really odd. I believe a little over a month ago when Rio was originally supposed to get removed a few weeks ago, long before Christmas, I talked about the addition of a winter update. We haven't seen one in a very long time, which is also very surprising, but not as much in the same time because we've had operations to fill that gap of content. And here we just haven't. People like Anomaly are pretty outraged and pretty pissed off at this. No way I stayed up for four weeks in a row for this update. I'm actually angry because it's just so short. And really you could take out all these Anubis things. People aren't really going to notice for the most part. Evangar responded to this. He says, they once again proved us that we mean shit 
and seriously don't care about the community, which I kind of agree with. Most people are actually using the term that I came up with a few weeks ago where Valve is kind of turning CSGO and giving them the TF2 treatment, or we're just not getting any updates. They're not talking to the community and they're slowly letting CSGO die. Now, is that the case? Absolutely not. The game's thriving more than ever without any content. Now, from this update and all the outrage, will it change anything? Probably not. The only way for Valve to really notice something and probably add something to the game is if you vote with your wallet. Stop buying stuff in game. I'm sure they've already learned it with the Rio stickers, but they of course think it's because they look bad, which they do. But then again, wouldn't really matter in the bigger picture and whole of things. You make up a very small percentage of the community and we need a worldwide kind of strike on CF so that makes any sense. But even then that's a stretch. I think a case and an update surrounding something like that is pretty imminent at this point in time. And it's pretty ridiculous this was even an update. Now what's actually pretty insane is if you guys remember just the past couple of days, there's been a lot of stuff with Aquarius on Twitter. He was talking about going up to this update. There was a lot more blog posts that were added, but actually got deleted. So this is pretty interesting. I'm wondering what happened here. On January 11th, Aquarius tweeted out a new hidden blog post has been found for CSGO. There was supposed to be an update then. And of course this yesterday was deleted. So that is probably the most interesting to me. What that could have had, could have been a case. Could have one of the skins been not copyrighted, but stolen from someone else. Maybe could it have been the 75% off sale and the big boys, the head at Valve was like, Hey, we need to make more money off this. Let's keep this into the game. Let's not release anything new for the next couple of weeks. That's why I think Rio hasn't been removed and so on. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Do you guys think we're getting the TF2 treatment? Because I sure do. And what do you think this means for the future of the game? Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out guys. Peace.